What's up, YouTube? It's me, your guy. Hoping for a clear sky for an eclipse today. Here I am, doing a weird voice. Here to talk to you about the top ten. No, just kidding. This is not a top ten this time. This is a uh, post WrestleMania day weekend, uh, WrestleMania weekend uh, video because I literally experienced a great WrestleMania with some of my best, with a couple of my best friends. Uh, Cracked Ideas also joined in for this one. Shout out Cracked Ideas. He came over with my cousin that he's dating. And, uh, yeah, we had a good night one. A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff happened over this weekend for me, too, with my friends. And it was just all around the peaceful weekend. It was the same for some things that I'm not going to talk about. Because I don't want it to intrude on the happiness that is this video. So, first off. WrestleMania spoilers inbound, you guys have been thusly warned. I am now telling you guys some of my favorite things about WrestleMania weekend. Here we go! First off, first off, I loved so much that we got motionless and white as an opener oh my god motionless as in white my first time seeing motionless and white was back in 2011 in july yeah crazy crazy time crazy time um that was the day of the best concert i have ever been to but uh I remember going to see Motionless and White back then and being extremely hype and watching them go from the heavy, uh, not heavy, uh, Mayhem Fest 2011 to WrestleMania opening stage. I am, I am happy with how life has come down to, uh, First match was arguably my favorite. The Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch match was phenomenal. Like, my fair part about it was the absolute ferocity that both women came in with. Rhea Ripley was coming in meaning business. Rhea, Rip Rhea Ripley conquered. And oh my god. The amount of energy these two women expelled and kicked ass the entire time. So this is also one of the few times where the women's matches completely outshines a lot of the male matches for me. Uh... Definitely, definitely liking the respect that they're giving the females this mania. Now, there are some things going into this that, like, made me really sad. Like, I just recently heard of Roman Reigns' diagnosis. And that is absolutely saddening to hear. Because this could have just been our last Roman Reigns matches ever hopefully i have the utmost hope that roman will will beat this thing again it it pains me a lot to see see him go through this it it very much brings up to me mentally some of the shit i'm going through in real life because my stepfather has been fighting cancer for three years now. And 
Uh, I've been seeing firsthand that some of this stuff gets, and that's all I'm saying about that. But Roman Reigns, he put in some freaking work this weekend. Roman Reigns headlining night one, then headlining the second night. He headlined two, he headlined two nights at WrestleMania. Freaking fantastic. But this brings into the second high point. There are like five points about this that I really liked, by the way. And it's already pushed it into one of my top five manias. Roman, um, Roman kicked a lot of ass, but now it's time for point two. Seth freaking Rollins. This man, this man has been going ham. This man's going ham, damn, damn, damn. He's come out in so many outfits this weekend, like, this guy's straight up fleshing out the Final Fantasy character outfit catalog on WWE. Yesterday, the outfit on Saturday, phenomenal. He straight up looked like he just came out of, uh, came out of, um, what's that place called? Ugh. That place from Vanderkin. Van Vanarkin. From Final Fantasy X. If you guys know what Vanarkin is, yes. That is exactly what Seth Rollins came out looking like. Then Seth Rollins opening the next night. Man, I was expecting it to be so, so much of a fucking one-sided beatdown. But that man... He ate five Claymores from Drew McIntyre. That is why Seth... Uh, one more thing about Seth Rollins before I wrap up the Seth Rollins point. My word. Not only did he have two outfit changes in his main matches, but he also came out dressed up as the Shield Seth Rollins at one point. What the hell? Oh, I'm still getting goosebumps thinking about it. Now... Time for number four. The tag team matches. Woo! The tag team matches, there were more than one tag team match, but my my word, I have to include, like, I have to include both of them in the tag teams because the tag team matches were just so well done this year. From the gin and juice street match on the second day to the to the titles on unifying day one. On R Truth getting his media moment finally. R Truth has deserved the WrestleMania moment so much in his life. And this is it. This is it. This was I, I I loved it so much seeing our truth. Uh, that was so clutch, and also A Town, A Town uh, wasn't necessarily my favorite choice to win the SmackDown titles, but you know that you know that uh, that's not going to be for long. I'm not too big on Austin Theory, if you guys didn't know, but. I do respect, I do respect the skill set the guy has. Now for the gin and juice portion of this, Snoop Dogg's commentary, I live for. Like, <laughs> the family reunion table. Oh my god, the whooping stick, the whooping stick. I, I have permanently renamed objects just because Snoop Dogg has renamed them for this commentary. <laughs> oh, he pulled out the whooping stick, man, and you know exactly what he's doing with the whooping stick. Oh. <laughs> now time for the third portion of why the tag teams really stuck out to me. And the women's go without saying, absolutely fantastic. But going back to that gin and juice street brawl. <sighs> <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. 
Explain to me, explain to me how Bubble Ray Dudley just comes in as a freaking ref. He commands the entire match. I say it's because of him the Street Profits won. It's all Bubba. When the table first table fell and they're like, just get another table! I lived for that. I lived for that. Now time for the last point of why I love this WrestleMania. It just... This isn't match specific or anything. But there was just a certain energy to it. For many years, WWE had been going down the storyline drain for for a while. There were a lot of things in WWE that was growing stale. For instance, like the Cody Rhodes thing. But the energy as a whole, the entire, from Kevin Owen driving in, Randy Orton on the on the cart mutually and starting off the match like that to uh I show speed getting RKO'd into a table to Damian Priest cash in to even the banter from CM Punk towards um towards Drew McIntyre Absolutely phenomenal WrestleMania, and this is hands down one of my favorite WrestleManias of the last, like, maybe the last maybe 15 years. I ha- I could say this is out of the last 15 years, this WrestleMania 27, uh, 31. And, uh, 28 were my favorite of the last 15 years. So, but this has definitely come up to my top five manias of all time. Including, like, the WrestleMania where Edge versus Mick Foley, my favorite wrestling match of my favorite Mania match of all time. My favorite actual wrestling match, though, however, has always got to be that fucking Hell in a Cell with Mick Foley versus Undertaker as Mankind. Now, here's where I leave you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. There's probably going to be, like, a couple more videos coming out today. But, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you thought of WrestleMania. Have a great day.